And, and two of those uh, bridge workers were confirmed to be Guatemalan nationals. I understand that you spoke down, you spoke with the president of Guatemala on this topic and some other um, topical issues right now. Tell us about that conversation. Not on this topic, Lana. In hmm. fact, we okay. were speaking with him yesterday morning, uh, just in the hours after the bridge class. But he was here in town for a meeting with Vice President Harris and briefly met with President Biden uh, on the issue that, of course, is, is one of the top ones of concern for American voters, but is an issue across the hemisphere, and that is, of course, immigration. Took office in January and is pushing the United States to continue its cooperation with not only Guatemala, but other countries across the hemisphere, hoping for more economic investment. And Bernardo Arevalo uh, and I talked about this and uh, other immigration policy or proposals uh, from those like former President Donald Trump. Take a listen to what we had to talk about. Do you think border walls work? I think that history shows they don't. So it may not be worth the expense of trying to build one again. What we need to look is for integrated solutions to a problem that is far more complex than just putting uh, a wall to try to contain. And that's why international cooperation is fundamental to try to understand the problem and then think on solutions that work on the mid to long term and are just not you know, short term reactions that, as we have seen in history, do not work. President Arevalo's answer there regarding the utility of border walls, similar to what the Mexican president said on 60 Minutes last weekend. And again, he's pushing for continued economic cooperation. The Biden administration earlier this week announced several hundred million dollars in new American economic investment in Guatemala. And, and as the president tells us, and as you'll hear more of tonight on America Decides, he says, look, the more of that that happens, the more willing the world is to invest in that part of the world, the more likely people are going to be to stay in their countries of origin and have no need to head north to the United States to seek out the kind of jobs like mm. those that cost the lives of those two Guatemalan men on the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. That's a very interesting point. Ed O'Keefe, thank you for that.